Hello and welcome to an Elmington Bulletin. Well, as you've seen a flurry of emails have occurred, we had a notification from the developer that they're actually going to settle a few weeks earlier than originally anticipated. So um, I thought I'd shoot you a quick video to outline the steps ahead. Uh, because Christmas is coming up and of course we've got Melbourne Cup week, I think it'll be important for us to get organised. So, Simon is going to be sending, if he hasn't already, uh, questionnaires requesting information for your mortgage applications. If you could please turn those around as soon as possible. Uh, we were actually expecting to have another couple of weeks, so time is of the essence now. I believe Sarah Jane has phoned you and introduced herself to you around property management. We started solid property management in October last year, largely because we had been referring our rentals out to third parties and we just weren't getting the satisfaction and the quality of management that we were looking for. We do inspections at least twice a year. We video, we photograph. Sarah Jane and her team have an exceptional rapport with the tenants and, and of course wants to build an exceptional rapport with the landlord. So we also request early access from the developer. So what we try and do is get spec to let us in at least one or two Saturdays before settlement so that we actually have applications from tenant before you've even paid for the property. So by the time you're settling, we want the least amount of days outstanding before we've got a tenant in there paying for your mortgage. Because remember, part of the formula is that your tenant will pay 60% of your mortgage. So we want the tenant in as soon as possible. Because we've got several buyers in at Elmington, we're actually going to pull the money for advertising and dominate the search engine. I've actually been onto realestate.com and most of the apartments being offered in Camberwell at the moment are really old one bedrooms. So we're going to really do well there. I think there's not a lot of brand new stock being offered and I think we will be a breath of fresh air but it is coming up to Christmas. Not a lot of people you know, want to leave it too late. So we want to get started as soon as possible. So Sarah Jane is going to be sending you a kit in the mail. That's going to have uh, an authority for us to manage your property. Please sign and get that back ASAP. Once I've got that back, that triggers me getting the photography done, getting the ad placed and uh, buying the top spot on realestate.com. In your kit, I'll also put um, a landlord insurance policy. I really highly recommend it. I've actually put it into all of your property investment analysis, expecting that you will buy it. The reason I like it is don't confuse landlord insurance with building insurance. The owner's corporation insure the whole building, but landlord insurance is really good if there's a problem. For example, I had, um, one of my um, properties out at Sandringham, the tenants upstairs went on holidays, gum trees, uh, the gum leaves fell on the, um, on the balcony and it actually clogged up the, uh, the drain, overflowed and went down into my apartment. Of course, water finds its own level. It came in through the light fittings. Unfortunately, it dripped into my tenant's TV and ruined the TV, so we thought. Um, he was in a flat, he had water in his apartment. He couldn't watch um, the footy show, it was a Thursday night. Um, I got the phone call, I said, don't worry, relax, I've got landlord insurance. If watching the footy show is really important, go up the road, put your credit card um, at JB Hi-Fi, buy a TV and I'll reimburse you in the morning and I'll have my plumber there at 7.15. So it was so nice to be able to say that as it turned out, he watched the, the, footy, at the, the footy show at a local pub and um, his TV dried out three days later. But I actually think he took it so well with relaxing knowing he had landlord insurance. So I think it's important to have it. The other thing that'll be in your kit is the BMT depreciation schedule form. You will get a discount of about 100 to $150 if you quote that sol you're a client of solid groups. I've seen quite a few different depreciation schedules over the years. BMT seemed to capture the most amount of section 43, which is the building. Uh, and all of the uh, infrastructure, and they seem to capture the most amount of section 40, which is all the internals, fixtures and fittings. Um, sometimes it can be one or two thousand dollars a year in your deduction, so it's well worthwhile getting this particular depreciation schedule. So those forms will be in your kits as well. Um, what we're waiting on now is the builder is going to 
go for occupancy. So what will happen, there's about 12 authorities involved in that. There'll be the fire brigade will go through to make sure they can fight a fire and there's no obstructions. The local council will make sure they're meeting regulations. The water companies, the power companies, the gas companies, everyone will go through and sign off their various different um, authority acceptances. That then forms occupancy lodgement. We lodge for occupancy. Once we've got occupancy, we then register the plan of subdivision. The plan of subdivision goes through to titles. We then get the individual title that we can then on transfer the property to you. So those steps can happen quite quickly. So uh, from here on in, we'll be giving almost weekly updates on how things are going for you. What you need to do right now is get your forms and the information back to Simon. And when you receive the information from Sarah Jane, if you can sign it and get it back, that would be fantastic. And that way my team can do the best job for you. If you've got any questions, I'm available. Um, if you want to talk about property management, you can call Sarah Jane on 9500 8000. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.